definitely in Sinji's favor right now. Even if the last set did go in Syrup's, uh, go for Syrup. Yeah, definitely did. It wasn't even like a, you know, a hard wash either. And there's new game, new chance at victory. Sinji immediately trying to pay, play their way game while trying to pick and choose where Syrup wants to land and anti-air him in these, in these spots. Anti-air him, yes, it's not, it's not a hard, it's not a, not an easy task. Unless when you don't have the, someone who really outranges him, like Pac-Man. Like Pac-Man got forward air, he got nair, back air. All these moves will lose to Ness's nair or forward air. So you know, Ness's nair and forward air are just big. He's giant. Seems again, not much percent on the board right now. Just here trying to find his way to start becoming these big damaging combos off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go, triple and, you know, up there. The funny thing with uh, Nesses in general, excuse me, just watched PK Chris play, who's a, also a very good Ness. I believe he has encores under his belt. One um, encore, I think. Yeah, one encore under his belt. Uh, is it just one? Just one. Okay. He beat Amarillas in the Grands. I remember that. Okay. But the point is, so he's a good Ness. However, you notice that Syrup has a different, different approach, both in the neutral and in terms of, you know, what moves he's looking for. That up air, that sort of thing is an anti-air option. You know, he's able to get these nice combo starters. Uh, and it's kind of, you know, you do see the different approaches. And we'll see whose approach ends up working out better as Sinji did just 3-1. Uh, yes, he did. Get Chris just a moment ago. But then again, PK Chris and Syrup are two very different nests. They both may press the same buttons, but not the same way. <gasps> nice patience. Very nice patience. But his nest aerials, they do not have that much lag. So it's also very hard to punish them. I like that setup. Okay, Find you. this kills. Look, it's looking to be pretty tough for Sinji. And, and it's Apple. Apple. That anti-airing Apple. Oh my goodness. So one of the reasons why Apple is so difficult to deal with is because of the fact that it sends at this really weird angle, this bizarre trajectory, that if you're just playing the neutral, if you're being patient, you still, even if you know about it, you still forget about it. You're, you think you're safe at this diagonally in front and behind, but no, that's the exact range where Apple can just snipe your noggin and send you into the blast zone. Mm-hmm. And it's always been least expected too. So you would think like you know a lot of uh, a lot of Pac-Man crew would just go straight ahead and then fall down. Normally not. Apple is going straight down at the angle. Whoopsies. It's going straight down at the angle. <gasps> Ooh, what the hell? That was uh, maybe unintentional, but it was cute nonetheless. I honestly have no idea. He's going to go down. Yeah, he See? went down. Okay. Oh, what? What the? He footstooled it by accident, okay. and he did it again! And <laughs> now Syrup's in the lead. So that's all Chris needed to do, man, but I'm telling you, he was and too that's scared. That's one thing PK Chris last time wasn't doing. What, what? He accidentally caught the high. He accidentally caught the bell. Yeah, that's actually really bad for him. Mm. If he hadn't gotten that accidental catch, he could have gotten the kill outright. But now he has to climb and find another, like, he basically has to find another bell to be killing at this percent. Nothing else he has will really reliably kill this. Maybe like a fruit or some or an edge guard is what he's looking for. But I, I'm saying in the neutral. Oh, yeah, in the yeah, neutral, yeah, yeah. yeah, nah. No, I think Apple may. Okay, now Apple will now kill. Now Apple will kill. Yeah, no, absolutely right now. Apple will kill. Or, or the hydrant. hydrant. You know, just send him straight to the side. That might have actually been some. What happened? I think a controller error from Sinji? Maybe. But he's out there looking know. at his hands like, I don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah, that's, I, I don't know exactly what that was. And I know for Sinji as a player, he's the kind of person where he's, you know, very, you know, very technical and he spends a lot of time, you know, really grinding these little, little bits and pieces out. And so that means that when there's some external thing that messes with what he wants to do, it can really affect him mentally. Yeah. I mean, that's true of anybody, but like Sinji especially, if he's running into controller problems, it can really make it difficult for him you know, to be like, I mean, it makes sense. You know, you're like, I have spent so much time, you know, practicing all the combos. And then you're saying it doesn't even matter because my controller's acting up? Yeah, that's, it's demoralizing, I guess. 
I definitely can be demoralized. That happened to me a lot. Well, let's see if uh, Sinji can get his head back in the game. And then maybe his controller getting, would stop messing up with him, too. He ends up counterpicking to, uh, to Kalos. An interesting stage. What are your thoughts on maybe why we're seeing Kalos in particular in this match? So matchup? I would guess maybe it's more stage for just Pac-Man to play the away game. Even though he wasn't really playing the away game as much in the last game. But I guess since he's realizing maybe boxing Ness isn't a bright idea. Why did that hit him? Um, <laughs> probably more like he needs to just keep Ness out of his out of his zone and just pick and choose when he needs to fight instead of just you know going in and swinging in on the little boy. Oh, the that water saving Sinji. saving his life. Yeah, I think, I th if I had to sort of figure out why we're at this stage, I think another part to it might be that um, FD was banned, and this is that a is very true. FD similar stage. Uh, you know, to the point where, yeah, he has a lot of room, and since you can be doing his stuff! That Such as that, that didn't kill, man? Another hydrant, and just barely missing the bear. <gasps> there Wait, we go! Did, hold the on a second. Hydrant why did stop he, the PK Thunder? Why did, why did the Thunder go to the left? I think of the way Ness was facing. No, because it, it would always have to go to the right in order to go back. Was he going to do some like cheeky thing of like going left and then all the way back around? I think maybe that was trying to be some like you know clever edge guard or clever recovery rather. Um, but Sinji just—it's so little risk for him to throw out that. Uh, uh oh, he knows that so is good. awareness. He he knows. Maybe just Pac-Man rolls just being that very very good. But Sinji is well aware. 47% right now, and he's Sinji still sitting at 120. This guy got comp. He's getting so much mileage off it. Uh -huh. oh, boom. Off stage. And how is he going to recover? Oh, boy. <gasps> Maybe he won't. Yeah, he's not doing that. That was so smart. That's what he's been Stop. trying to do. Yep. <gasps> but every time, Syrup has been way too close for him to do it. Yeah, so for those of you who don't understand exactly what happened right there, normally you usually see it when somebody themselves goes and body blocks the Ness upbeat. Because when it connects with somebody, the distance for it gets significantly shortened. He travels much less far. Uh, but Sinji doesn't even have to worry about going down there and taking the damage and you know having to attack or anything like that. No, it counts as hitting when it connects with the Hydra. Yes, it does. And so if he's just a little bit too far, Sinji can just time it and throw it out. That's why he went to the left the first, last time, because he wanted to extend it, thinking that Sinji would, if he was trying to throw off the timing so Sinji couldn't just block him with the Hydrant. But Hydrant ended up covering that anyway because it ate the PK Thunder. That's so good. That is really good. I mean, so badly. Oh, we got the good tunes on for this map? Okay. You know me, I'm always a, I'm always a judge of the music choices of the players, even though this is random, but you know, random wanna be based today. Ooh. Right now this is Syrup looking really nice. This is the ah, oh. should get up into the down smash, everyone does it. I also think that every single game since he has started off with some kind of lead. Uh, even game one, which he ended up losing. Mm -hmm. So the fact that right now Syrup is actually looking like he's the one in control at the beginning of the match, that alone speaks volumes. And CP, yeah. maybe it'll show a, uh, it'll sort of demonstrate a shift in momentum that will be even harder for Sinji to make a uh, any moves on. Absolutely. He's kind of just keeping the pressure on Sinji right here, not giving him a lot of chances to... Well, he's, he's, Sinji's getting the fruit, but he's not getting a chance to reap and like, use them. Syrup in his face and putting him in just some bad spots. You notice uh, Syrup went for the air dodge, and Sinji went for the air dodge at the exact same time. He wasn't expect. He was kind of like, it was like a, yeah, like right there, that exact situation. <laughs> he was trying to use it to help him get back down to the ground, and Syrup was ready for it at that time and positioned himself properly to be able to punish soon after. So now that Sinji having to make this smart. comeback happen. Charging up his fruit. Not even going to try and go for a ledge trap or anything like that. Ooh. Instead, he just wants to get his resources in hand so that if the opportunity presents itself, he can capitalize on it instantaneously. Yes. I think he has key right now. No, no, he has Bell. No, I think Bell he has is. key. Oh, has I key. Was, I'm a liar. I am a liar. <laughs> it's okay. Syrup knew, and so Syrup dodged it. 
you actually can tell when Sinj when uh, Pac-Man has key. I believe because he flashes a little bit white, sort of like how a lot of other characters when they have a fully charged projectile also oh, flash white. Okay, that's good. You just don't see it very often because normally Sinji, it, funnily enough, doesn't go for key. No, he doesn't. He always goes for that bell because F Smash is killing a lot earlier than the key is. Type <laughs> key being a wonderful disrupting tool. Really avoiding that PK Thunder. I'm <laughs> sorry, just like Pac-Man dodging that entire, uh, that entire up. He just makes me think, uh, he's just in his head going, <laughs> 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 just trying to run away from it. And yeah, you gasped at that. That was a really nice stock pickup from Syrup. Ooh, and now Sinjin has to make a big comeback happen. Will he even be able to manage to the combo break with down air? Will he be able to find his way through the offense? That is Syrup. Oh man, these run up grabs. Oh Syrup boy. is not afraid to go for them. And I wonder exactly what kind of counterplay we might. Oh. I don't think there's a fear. Uh, there's a fearful bone in Syrup's body. I think this boy is just not scared of anything. The way he's challenging Pac-Man, especially from under him, Jesus. Is that he it? He don't care. I want to point out also. I'm not sure exactly what is the big factor, but the last two games, Sinji was. Going past that, getting past that down smash perfectly fine. I did not see him get caught by it. He would just like trampoline right up to the ledge and not have to worry about it at all. Mm -hmm. So I think that perhaps maybe there's like a certain adjustment that needs to be made for Sinji because it feels like Seraph has changed the timing of when he's going for it. And I think that's the difference maker. We'll see though. It could also be a spacing dependent thing on the recovery. There are so many bits and pieces to this matchup that it's yeah. a, it'd be impossible to know every detail, uh, you know, right out of the gate. You know, these players themselves, you know, some of it is figuring it out as you go. It definitely is. It's also just really hard to kind of figure out what your opponent wants to go for half the time. And like with the nest main, like you know they just want to get the damage off, they want to get you off stage, uh, peak and fire less traps. But the problem is how they're going to do it. Because the way Ness moves around so much with these doubles up cancels and these beer versus nares, it is very hard to pin Ness down. No one talk, no one mentions that at all. Ness is super hard to pin down. He is so fast in the air. Yeah, and the way that he can just like, you're absolutely right with reversing momentum and everything. Sinji though, instead of trying to catch him, he's just going to do outright damage. Look at these combos that he can just like unleash. Sinji wants to be in the non-existent highlight reel. Ah, uh, that was... Normally, Sinji doesn't go for that sort of thing. That felt like, uh, I really hope this up smash lands, and that's why he went for it. He, he lived? Saved him. I think the Hydra saved him. Oh my goodness, you never see that. It's very rare to see because, you know, Sinji normally, you know, whatever situation is coming about. Yeah. That was so smart. He extended Excuse the hitbox me? by hitting the Hydra. That was so good. That's actually the second time I in that stock we saw him use the hydrant like that. That, that forward smash he got time. earlier was because oh. it extended on the hitbox. So that's something that, if you're syrup, you need to sort of open open your that's eyes because right. that hydrant is actually dangerous in a way that you would not expect. He needs to open his eyes and notice that since he's galaxy brain. Uh, trying to find his way into the lead here. But see, every time he goes for the edge grab, Shinji's just waiting. Oh, God. Ah, that actually killed! That felt like very low percent to die to up smash. It really did. I feel like it might have been the earliest, earliest percent to die to mess up smash. Or maybe Pac-Man just a very light cheese ball. I don't know how much it is. I, I, I'm not sure whether he was trying to go for a downer or whether he on purpose got the A landing on the platform, but the platform ended up interrupting uh, Syrup's combo, meaning that now Sinji back in control. Let's see if he can actually get this edge guard. Beautiful air dodge nice to get job. back to the ledge. Downer yeah. covering so much options. <gasps> what? Not making it back. Sinji shaking his head. That was actually... He was not expecting that. He thought he was going to come back. Otherwise, he wouldn't. He would have been like, "That's the." If you knew that he was gonna die there, you nod your head. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a bit of a desperation up B. Oh boy, very desperation. Right there at the top of the screen. Oh, I like what you were going for. I see the sauce. I see the movement. <gasps> oh my god! Nice. Back in now, we have a game. 
Syrup is no, Syrup is closing out his deficit. Yeah, that was honestly a beautiful sequence of events from Syrup. Oh, and now that he's even up the stock count, this is Sinji at low percent. He can kind of go for whatever he wants to, to just get a combo going. Or he, I, he, I would say that if he even could. When did mm -hmm. he take 92? 92% and the percent is still climbing with him, not able to put anything else on the board, but 28. Syrup is out here struggling to find a hit on Sinji, man. Okay, it was call me a liar because he got one, 40%. <gasps> Oh, that was so smart from Sinji. He recognized the risk of staying in his shield with that PK Thunder Very rolling around. Sloppy. So he just jumps out of there. Very close. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Very careful neutral right now from both of these players. Sinji goes so close to actually being able to do it. Almost threw him into the high one. But the Apple will do it? Apple will do it. We have a game five. We have a game five. But I do want to point out that there's been kind of a push and pull, you know? Uh, Syrup on game one, Sinji in game two, Syrup game three, Sinji game four. And I think a big part of that is the stage choice. Mm -hmm. And as we move into game five, this is Syrup's choice of stage. So far, Sinji has not been able to take a game. At least in this set, he wasn't able to take a game when Syrup was in control of where they were going. Without no. that sort of longer stage FD variant, there are too many stages that Sinji wants to ban. Uh, so let's see where they actually wound up. I missed it. Let's see if it'll be a big one. Small battlefield. Okay, uh, this small seems like a really good stage for Syrup. Okay, I guess they're not a face for Ness. So not Ness. Um, Pac-Man to run away and just face himself away from these away from Ness projectiles. Able to pull the food safely. Not only that, but they're also platforms for That's Ness true. platform movement between, like, you know, the, the Psy Magnet and also throwing PK Fires. Not to mention Ness is not the best when it comes to Sharky at all. Honestly, I'm loving this use of Pac-Man up tilt just to put on some platform pressure. Oh my god, that was the first that Sy Sy uh, Syrup got this whole song. Jesus, uh, Sinji's been kind of manhandling him. Where does that go in? Oh boy. Mm -hmm. I could be eating those words. Never mind, I'm not eating those words. <gasps> oh! <laughs> that was. I, Bro, I was so scared he was gonna die. I totally forgot about the trampoline. I yeah, I think he knew the trampoline was. No, but Sinji could have despawned it. He could have. I don't. I think Sinji might even forgot he was going. No, no, we we all got mixed. We all got. I mixed mean, up. if he did despawn it, he might have been able to just redirect the up B anyway. Yeah. Who's to say? Oh man, look at all these dash attacks he's going for. I know it's safe on shield, but there is still a risk to doing them. Yes, there is. Oh my. He is on oh. deck. I lied. I thought it was on deck. No, not quite oh yet. My. That's really big. Ah, I said you couldn't great grab the bell, though. So there's a lot different from how the last game went. The last game, it was like kind of the beginning of how, the, how this game went. Except, Syrup went upstage. And then a rocket killed him off the side. Yeah, let's see if Sinji can actually extend this lead, though. <gasps> Ooh, Galaxian at low percent is definitely one way to do that. That is not going to be it, though. No. He's at too low percent. Sinji was only at like 100. I, for I even forgot. Came in danger. So close. Oh my god, I just realized both of these guys Naruto run. What? Their run animations, they Naruto run. Oh my god. Ness's arms are too stubby to do Look a at traditional track and field run. Oh no. He can find himself hit by all these bells. I'm sorry, I'm just now I can't unsee them narrow to running at <laughs> Now both of them are not running to grands. Both of them want this run. Well, I think he's going to get a chance to get the run back out there. <gasps> Okay, hey, this is where, right. you know, Sinji was, you know, in control for this entire game so far. But there's the sort of thing where now he has to think about how he's going to get the kill. Bell is definitely going to be one way he's going to try to do it. But at 140%, Syrup is still alive. He also has a lot of rage. And you mm -hmm. never know when all of a sudden, you know, he can pull out one of those nasty combos. Mm -hmm. That might even lead to a death for Sinji before he has a chance to really capitalize With on With a glass cannon like Ness, anything could really happen in the neutral, man. Ness gets one hit and it's no balls. Sinji with the anterior hydra not allowing Syrup to even try to get any combo starters going. <laughs> He's trying. Go for a fifth roll. Go for it. All right. <laughs> and now we have game five. 
This is Serum's last stock of the tournament, possibly. Sinji pushing him all the way to the brink. He, he, needs to, he needs to even this up immediately or else. I mean, I don't think there's any recourse beyond that. Mm, none at all. Okay, wonderful air dodge. They, oh my, what is it for me? <gasps> Here comes the damage. No, I lied. He gets sidelined and back and finds himself off stage again. Woo! I'm honestly loving how both of these players use their aerials off stage to challenge the the edge guarding hit uh, projectiles that get thrown at them. Sinji knew to shield the up smash right there. Huge for him. Now 77% onto Syrup. He's at 130 and still surviving these neutral airs. Very looking mountain wire. <laughs> Man. approaching his last stock. And it's like you see the way that both of these characters, their frame data, really coming into play Jesus here. Christ, what a back air. That back air really good from Syrup. And now if you're Sinji, you know, you are you're still looking really good, but that nagging thought in the back of your head probably starts showing up of, oh no. I was oh. in the lead. I thought I had this game. What possibly can go wrong here? As Ness gets ready the rocket. All, all it really t is gonna take is what why'd it go that way? What the hell? Did you say that? Uh was there like a did he down B? Is no, there like a he, wind box component I, to down B? I don't I have know. zero idea. Oh my god! Okay, hold on a second. That was a bit of an anti <laughs> That was kind of anticlimactic, <laughs> but it just